This says near if you look at it up close, but far if you move away from it like this. It also says far if you squint your eyes like this. Anyway, let's learn to code this effect using HTML and CSS. We'll study different ways to add the styles so you can use them wherever you are. Get it? No? There's that song, near, far, where, no, oh, no, 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 no. Gonna code, debug, and have fun. Coding with Radu, coding with Radu. Gonna prototype and design. Coding with Radu, coding with Radu. Let's code now. I'm going to be coding using Visual Studio Code and in an empty directory, let's create a file called index.html. And typical HTML syntax, we start with the doc type and then the HTML opening and closing tags. Everything else goes in between. The head section, inside it, I'm going to type a title, the near far illusion, and then the body is going to have two elements. I'm going to use divs. The first one will have near as the content, and the second one will have far as the content. And let's save this. And if you open index.html in a web browser, I'm using Google Chrome. It's going to look like this. So two items here, near and far, and the title of the document is near far. Let's style this so that we give it a dark background. I'm going to add here a style tag. This is a small project, so we will be writing the styles in the same document. And here for the body, let's specify the background color of 222. Hashtag 222 means this dark gray color. The lower these values, the darker and the higher the values, the lighter. And um, if all of them are equal, it means a gray color. Now save and refresh gives us that. We can't really see very well these texts anymore because it's dark on dark, but let's fix that. I'm going to give a class to these two divs and I will add it like so. Class is equal to text. So text is going to be a new style that we will define and it's going to affect both of these divs because we assigned the class text to both of them. So in the style section, to define a class, we use the dot and then the name. And in it, I'm going to set the color white. And if we save right now and refresh, we can see that text on top of the dark background. Let's move them to the center of the screen. For that, we will use absolute positioning and then say 50% from the left and 50% from the top like this. But if we save now and refresh the page, we get this and it's not very obvious, but really the top left corner of these texts is in the center of the screen. You can see that far is on the left of of near here and they are overlapping. To fix this and to really have them aligned, we use the transform translate by minus 50%, minus 50%, like so. Save and refresh. And now they are so that far is in the middle of this near. They just need to be bigger. Let's assign here a font size, maybe 500 pixels. Let's see how this looks like. Save and refresh. 
Um, maybe it's a little bit too big. I'm going to set 300 pixels. I think this is fine. And um, I don't like these serifs very much, so I'm going to use another font, font family, Arial, and uh, let's make it bold so that the text is really visible. Save and refresh. And um, this is what we have now. So far is here in the middle and near is there in the back. Now, if you want to make them look different from each other, which we do, we have to access them independently somehow. So this class text is a common behavior that we give to both of these divs. But now we're going to assign IDs to them. So I'm going to type ID is equal to near and ID is equal to far. And if you want to give styles to IDs, the CSS syntax is a little bit different. It starts with a hashtag and then the name like so. So near, I'm going to give it a darker color but lighter than the background, this 555. Let's save and refresh. And now near somehow fades in the background. And if you squint your eyes, you can somehow see it almost disappears from there. I think we could go even a little bit lower than this, maybe 333, save, refresh. And now it's still readable, I can still see near there in the background. But if you squint your eyes even a little bit, at least I don't see it there anymore. So that's why this illusion works, at least part of the reason. One item, near in this case, is visible when you're looking carefully or when you're near to the item. And the other one is better visible from far away or if you do squint your eyes. So let's see how we get that to work. I'm going to make it a little bit darker as well, but still bright in comparison to near. So for far, let's set here the color AAA, maybe save, refresh. I think that's okay to start with. And now I'm going to add a blur filter. We are going to blur this front text. So filter, blur, and let's say 50 pixels to blur radius. Save and refresh. And it's become this foggy, foggy thing here. And I think we overdid it with this um, blur, because even if you try to go further away or squint your eyes, nothing is really happening. So maybe we try something like 20, save and refresh. And um, yeah, I mean, it's kind of readable even up close if you know to look for it. But if you squint your eyes, it becomes really readable. Like I can only see the, the letters far there, definitely. I think we could make it a little bit darker and still get away with it. So maybe 888. Yeah, I think it still works now, but um, it blends better with the background. Maybe the blur can be a little bit higher. I'd say 25. Okay, it's definitely hard to read now this far word there. If you don't know that it says far, you you can't really see it. You have to be told it's there. But if you squint your eyes, yeah, it's it's definitely readable. So same goes if you zoom out. Like if you zoom out with the mouse, you can start to see this far appearing there like that. You can use control and the mouse wheel to zoom out and in. Shorter one this time, but thanks for watching and see you guys.